Hi, everybody. This is intro day for the nine, nine blue candles. And for those of you who don't know about it, I've done nine candles. This is the ninth set of the nine candles, which may mean, hopefully my guys will tell me this is the last, but I don't hold a lot of hope for that. But the path to nine candles, oh, by the way, this is Dr. Gail. Hi, everybody. And, and thanks, thanks, Eugene, for having me on. And I feel honored to be the first. Well, yes. And because she, she and I have talked about it. We've talked about how our spirit moves us, how we our guides talk to us, and we do what we're supposed to do. And when I first opened my channel on the 19th of December in 2020, I got this. I did a couple little shows explaining who the garden was and why I was there and where the purple hair came from. And then my guides told me, do nine candles because nine candles are about prosperity. And the, the original nine candles was kind of a how-to class. It's I may put all the candles if I get inspired under something you can go find on my channel. Otherwise, just go to the very bottom of my shows and the show's there. And what I was explaining to people is nine candles is a feng shui. And it was nine red candles. And it was a way to bring prosperity into your life. And it's something I've taught people to do for a long time because um, I have friends that own stores, friends that own businesses. I teach them this little trick. And they would light a candle each day, one candle each day for nine days till they had all nine of them lit. They would say, say the same intention over the candles each time. And then... And the ninth day, they just let the candles burnt down and the, the prayers would go up to heaven and it would bring a change, a shift in whatever their intention was about. What I didn't tell people that were watching my first, these shows doing this, my nine candles, I'd been on like a week and a half or two weeks on YouTube. My nine candles were to get me to a thousand subscribers, which I did four days after I finished my nine candles. Now, I don't know if you've heard readers gripe about not being able to grow their numbers, but that was a phenomenally short period of time to get to a thousand subscribers, which opens, I'm not going to get the politics of YouTube, but it opens up a lot of things for you. So that was my first nine candles. My second nine candles came in May of 2021, six months later. And I'd had a vision of, we all needed to lose our masks. We lost so much of the outer identity we'd created before COVID and we need needed spiritually now to lose the masks we were holding on to. So that was also nine red candles and that was the thrust of those red candles. Then in October, 2021, right after 8-8 Lionsgate, there was a whole push that we were speeding up and the whole thrust of the intentions and the meditations during that time was we're all moving a lot faster than we were before. What are we doing about that? How are we going to deal with it? What does it mean? What does it mean to really leave other people behind because they refuse to grow their frequencies? And that's when Danny and I came up with the pendulum chart that had the frequency thing still available on my website under uh, a folder of you know things you can just find that'll be support materials there. So that was speeding up. Then the next one, was also nine red candles and it was January, 2022. And it said we were gonna find new light in rare forms. And what I used for that was I had a youper. If you don't know what a youper is, a youper is a aggregate rock that picked up fluorescence while it was being formed in the earth. And if you shine a black light on it, it glows from inside the stone all around the fragments. It's fascinating. And it's spelled Y-O-O-P-R. And it's for the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, where is where these are primarily found. And when rock hunters go looking for them, they have to go at night and they have to shine along the shore and they just show up. They're absolutely gorgeous. Then summer of 2022, it was the energy, our energy is changing. And it was a photonic energy shift about, and that's when I went deep into ley lines energy lines around the earth and how all that works. And that was that was kind of a fun thing. That was fall 2022. Then March 2023 is when we had um, green candles. We shifted away from the red ones, went to green candles because 
we were going on to greener pastures. And that meditation included us all being on a raft in the South Seas and paddling towards the new shore, the new world, the new earth. And we were romping and playing on uncharted seas. Then July of 2023, we got, it was energy of, from the universe and that's moving us. And it's that big, big changes are coming up and each of us in kind of whatever chakra we needed to work with. So all the candles were different colors and you could use all the same color. You could whatever you wanted it was free form, but it's what's coming up for us at that point in time. And then December this year's is blue light energy. This is a blue light special. That's what I'm naming it. And it's coming far into our lives, far into our energy patterns to change and clarify for each of us. And it started from uh, blue lights that came into blue energy that came into our universe on the first Saturday of November, the third Saturday of November, and the fourth Saturday of November. And what it did is it spread that energy out through the ley lines, which we'd also talked about. And it's going to hit each and every one of us. And it's going to hit, hit each and every one of us very differently. Some people it's going to zomp. And I talked to a woman today who she got vertigo right after all that happened because so much energy was coming into her because for so long she'd been blocked. Now she's opening up and that happened to her. I've also talked to readers and people who are relatively sensitive who said, I haven't felt it yet, but I'm just going to wait. It's going to happen to me more calmly and slowly, which brings us to Dr. Gale. And she's going to explain how the blue light special has appeared to her. And I'm going to do one little quick cutaway, Dr. Gale, before you get there. When okay. we get to doing this, every day we do this, we'll do a meditation, we'll light a candle, and we'll think about the processes. So you can bring your own meditation, you can bring your own candles, you can bring any color candle you want. I'm using blue because that makes sense. But after this, this we're just going to talk to Dr. Gale. She's got some really interesting insights into the blue light special. So, Yeah, um, I, I knew about the blue light that was coming in in November, and I knew how intense it was going to be, but it wasn't affecting me. I was going, okay, blue light, it was affecting everybody around me, it seemed like especially who were watching my channel at that time, mm -hmm. it's like it was affecting them and everybody was going to feel stuck, low energy. But for me, I, I didn't feel that way. I didn't feel like it was affecting me. But all of a sudden this past week, which is now a week after all that, after blue lights came, have come in, um, I was doing a shamanic journey and I have a Native American that helps me with my shamanic journeys that shows up when it's important information coming in. And the one thing that happened when I was making a, taking a journey with him was he, we were looking in a pond and he moved the um, fog that was coming up from the, um, the pond. And then I saw myself as a Lyran and which is an ET for those who don't know what a Lyran is, it's a type of ET. And it was obviously it was a past life of mine that I was this kind of ET. Now, the Lyrans, I've met two different types. The first one we think of Lyrans as being cat like. And the first one I met was a sandy kind of color. In fact, she said her name, her, her earth name is Sandy. And, um, and she looked like cat. She looked like a combination between a cat and a human, and she stood upright. Um, the next one I met was not until two years ago when um, it was during meditation and it's when Danny Shea was here, his brother Billy and Kim from Medium Kim were here and we were all meditating together. And then I met another person who showed up and she was tall blue. She was probably about seven or eight feet tall. She was really tall and blue. And she kind of looked like, um, if you've seen the movie Avatar, she kind of looked like those people and she said those were Lyran so she kind of looked like that her name was Abigail and so on this that I have met there and, and what I saw myself look like was the blue ones like the blue tall ones and I saw myself like that and it's like okay I've had a lifetime doing this and that was no 
big deal to me because I've seen so many different lifetimes. But the information that came in at that time from my Native American guide was that the Lyrans are present now around everyone. We are going to be, we're going to know that they're here. And they were telling me they're next to everybody, that they're here everywhere. And they're the ones that are connecting us to Earth. They're extremely connected to Earth. And my journey to um, where I'm at now is I came to Mount Shasta with the Lemurians calling me. When I got here, I met all the elementals with fairies and gnomes and dragons. I met all of them. And then to now, the um, Lyrans, and they're all connected together. The Lyrans seem to be the ones that are directing when you're ready to meet these different um, dimensions. And the Lyrans are on a different dimension. They said they're sitting next to you, but they are in a different dimension. And what they were telling me is that we are needing to connect to Earth more. And that's what they're here for is because we're all, a lot of us, a good part of us are star seeds, so we're more connected to above. And they're wanting us to connect to Earth. And they also show me the future that we will be moving more towards being connected to Earth. And um, we will, of course, get rid of wars and um, we won't be as involved in the electronics. And um, that's where our life, our future is going towards. So that was my message for everybody today. I know this is really strange for everybody, but my channel is all about ETs and it's a comfortable place to come talk about these things. And um, so anyway, so I'm supposed to bring that message today. In fact, um, Nancy Jean and I were talking about it. I'm going, they're really strongly. We wanted me to get this message across today. Um, so that's basically it. So a shamanic journey. And um, uh, you can learn about shamanic journeys. Danny Shade gives a class on that if you're wanting to start doing that. It's a more structured meditation. It's basically the difference in a shamanic journey versus a meditation. Mm -hmm. So that all came from the blue light. And so... Dr. Gale, Dr. Gale and I bonded because I work with elementals more. And all of a sudden she she called me one day and I told her about my vision of riding a dragon and going into a portal and seeing all this wonderful stuff and seeing all these wonderful elementals. And then when I didn't do a show within three days of having seen them, uh, the dragon showed up again and his name is Cecil. And he said, mm, we got to go back. And I went, why? I already went there. And he said, nope, he didn't get the message. So he took me back. And this time the elementals were all dressed in their regal robes and their courtly things. And like you see in kind of Lord of the Rings, which I'm sure somewhat affected my subconscious in fo formulating them. And they talked to me and they said, you got to do this. And I went, so the next day I woke up and I went, I have to go live on YouTube and tell them about talking with unicorns and dealing with fairies and how the reason they liked me was because I did things like the nine candles. I understood basic rituals are important for us to focus. And I got in my car to drive to the craft store because, as you know, I make crystal grids, got to get the frames from somewhere. Was drive was getting, got in my car looked out the driver's window and there was a solid gold dragonfly next to my window. Now, for those of you who live in low lying areas with lots of water and stuff, dragonflies are like a thing you see. I live in a semi-arid area and it was a hot day and I'm looking at this dragonfly and it batted its wings against my window and they were hard. They were like metal and, and I went, oh. And I said, I have to do this, don't I? And I said, okay, just lead on. I'll figure it out somehow. And it led me off to the end of the driveway where I live. And then we got to a big street and it was gone. And I knew I was committed to have to talk about this. So once again, I talked to my good friends about everybody's going to think I'm crazy. And I told Dr. Gale and she said, no. She said, let me send you some pictures. A friend of mine painted and she said, she doesn't know you and she doesn't know anything about your Cecil stuff. And she said, but I'm going to send you the pictures. And she said, she put the picture up on the screen and I went, that's my dragon. And her friend lives in South Carolina. She lives in Shasta. 
I live in Texas. This woman doesn't know jack about what I do. And then the other thing that she illustrated was the portal that Cecil had dove into. And it was like, it looked like a little hurricane kind of window. And I went, this, we're not going to make it in this. This is not going to work. But that's where we went to to get to the part of the earth energy that the elementals live in. And so I said, okay, that's way too much confirmation. So that was part of my first show. You want to meet my dragon? You want to see my portal? Someone well, who knows me not at all drew yeah, it. And also it there was Meg, Meg's a friend of mine. And she's the one that drew it. And she doesn't, she is an artist, but she does not do this kind of art, which so is strange. She was saying, I want to send you this because this is a departure of what I usually do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she was sending it to the right address to get to my address. Exactly. So when we're talking about these things being right next to us and you know you're like but i don't feel it i don't feel it you have to kind of surrender to the idea that it may be a different way of feeling it may be a different way of being but i was thinking about why blue candles other than blue light but blue is the color of communication it's the throat chakra it's the way we speak to each other it's what we learn about and this is universal. It's going to be all over the world. So hopefully it will spread. Not hopefully. I know it's going to spread this good energy. I just got kicked in the back. It's not hopefully. We're doing it. So um, I hope you'll enjoy come and enjoy the next nine nights where we open up to a meditation. And the first paragraph of the meditation said, the act of lighting these candles serves us as a metaphorical beacon guiding our spirits to the next level of existence and fostering a deeper connection with the universe. The blue light special upgrade, which is my words for it, not anybody else, signifies the transformative experience where our guards, our guides and spirits become the catalyst for strengthening universal connections. And if you've come to the show, you'll have seen the graphic that I have at the front. Normally I have a really good friend Alma, who's done all the beautiful graphics for my shows. And I was trying to reach her to call her to see if she could help me. And so I cheat, guys. I write things in chat GPT. I just let it sort of clean up the language and see if it's better. Sometimes I use it, sometimes I don't. So I typed in my basic meditation for the nine blue candles. And it came up with a graphic. That's my graphic for the intro of each of these shows. It's a ring of candles, the earth behind it. And because further in the meditation, I talk about how this is important because this is the time that the earth talks to itself when Gaia talks to itself. So you have the north and the south, the cold and the, and the warmth. Um, and it just spun out that graphic. I didn't ask for a graphic. I don't even know if I know how to ask for a graphic from GPT. If I only get this one, it's worth knowing knowing about it so yeah i cheat and we all should cheat you all should use whatever you need to do to get to the next step because the next step has never been more wide open for all of us and blessings to everyone you want to say anything in conclusion dr gail no i just want to thank you again for having me on and thanks for everybody for watching yes and we will see you for the next hopefully nine nights their premieres at seven o'clock central time. And if you miss the premiere, they'll be there forever because they don't go away. I learned when I went back to find out what were my other nine candles about? It was all there and look forward to seeing you. Blessings to each of you and go bathe in the blue light. Good night. Thanks. Bye-bye.